If osteoporosis came up in your medical exam question or your medical exam role play, do you know the risk factors that you need to be looking out for? This video is going to cover all the core ones you should know, medical conditions, medications and others. We're literally about to start our virtual Big Mock AKT course. I'm set up around the corner, so I look forward to seeing some of you guys online very soon. So this video is going to cover those things. I've got a bit of time before we start, but also how to get 10% off our flash medical revision cards useful for multiple medical exams. I'll talk about how to get 10% off in a second. Right, so osteoporosis, low bone mass, of course, structural deterioration of bone tissue, which ultimately leads to increased fragility and therefore increased risk of fa uh, fractures. So what are the things to think about as a risk factor to this underlying situation? Number one, medical conditions. Lots of different medical conditions can put you at higher risk of osteoporosis. Diabetes is the one that we all tend to remember. CKD, chronic kidney disease, COPD, so lung conditions, CLD, chronic liver disease, things like malabsorption, so Crohn's disease, celiac disease, lots of different underlying medical conditions that you should be looking back for in past medical histories when it comes to exams or role plays and scenarios as such. Lots of medications can lead to osteoporosis as well. Steroids is the one that we tend to think about that comes first, but also things like SSRIs, things like PPIs, for example. So again, think about what people could be taking based on their past medical history, but also on their drug history as well. And some other things to bear in mind as well that you should be looking out for in your questions. Low BMI, so less than 18.5, increasing age, alcohol, greater than three units per day, and things like smoking as well. So multiple risk factors for osteoporosis. There are loads more as well, so please have a look at the others, but these are the ones that I would not want to miss in a medical exam question or a medical exam role play. Now, the Campus World Bus Flash Revision cards, these are 150 cards that we post out to your house globally, and they can be used for multiple different exams. I know people use them for AKT, for RCA, for MSRA, for PLAB 1, PLAB 2. I know people have used them for MRCP Part 1. I know people have used them certainly for medical school as well. There are 150 get them the right way around, oh, they're all mixed up here, 150 high yield focused teaching revision cards. So the osteoporosis risk factors, for example, is 118. So as you can see, they're all lined out here. That's the osteoporosis risk factor card there. So have a look at these on the website, the can pass, will pass, flash revision cards. If you want 10% off these, you send me an email, uman at auroramedicaleducation.co.uk and say, I watched the osteoporosis risk factors video. Can I have 10% off the flash revision cards? I will post these out to your house. I guarantee you they will boost your preparation and hopefully boost your pass in whichever medical exam you're doing. I really hope this helps. Osteoporosis risk factors, medical conditions, medications, and others. Don't forget these. You know the hashtag? Campus will pass. Hashtag I went with Aurora. See some of you in a couple of minutes time on the virtual Big Mock AKG course.